And here we have Barcelona against Real Madrid. I'm John Champion, and covering this game alongside me, someone who certainly knows a thing or two about playing at the top level, it's Jim Beglin. Hello, John. Hello, everyone. It's a real pleasure to be here. Well, you can really feel the sense of occasion here. El Clasico, one of the biggest derbies in the world. The intense rivalry between these two huge Spanish clubs makes it one of the very best. then Sergio Busquets Luis Suarez looking to exploit the space Messi too much power in that Isco, Fabio Coentral, Nacho Fernandez. The idea was there, the execution wasn't. Neither side being particularly adventurous in these early stages. Rakitic, here's Luis Suarez. The ball played into space nicely. Chance. He's bursting forward. A goal for Barcelona. He'd love to play against defenders as charitable as that every week. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. Barcelona sitting pretty with this one goal. Oh, look, it's lovely having a player with ability in your side. He's always capable of coming up with something important, and he's done it again. Well, with this guy and the talent he's got, you know he's probably going to try his look from there, but that one he didn't really get right at all. No, the defence alert and kicked out the danger. Kadira. Benzema, he makes his way towards the penalty area. They get it forward. Neymar, the opposition posing a few questions, but he's able to intercept. 30 minutes played. Kadira. And that's gone straight to the keeper. Messi. Dear. 
Fabio Coentrao. It's Benzema. Bale bursting forward. They've scored. And how critical might that be for Real Madrid? Well, what can you say about that goal? Well, he's got the result there, but you really have to question that defence, or lack of it. They kick off with parity restored. Yeah, we thought that this one would be close between two strong sides like this, and I think that just goes to prove it. And that'll be a throw. Long ball forward. Pedera. He's looking to find his front men. Can he find a finish? He's onside. He's delivered all right. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Real Madrid now up by a goal. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back of it. There's the whistle, and it's half time. So away we go then for the second half. Fabio Cointrao. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo! That skimmed the left-hand post. Well, how close can you get? That must have been a matter of inches. Real Madrid with a big chance and a big miss. Jordi Alba. Tried to play it through. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Fail! Keeper gets a hand on it. This goes for a throw-in. Barcelona just need to find a way of keeping the ball or, or go direct and hope to pick up enough scraps to be able to get their teeth into the game. They must get hold of it somehow. Barcelona, not as yet making any changes. Kedira. Tony Cruz. Isco. It's Fabio Coentrao.
Pedera trying to keep hold of it, but it's hardly easy. Ronaldo! Ronaldo! Goes after it. Well, I think they've shown a lot of courage in looking for another goal, but if it backfires, the coach will certainly come in for some criticism. They need to keep the ball. Play surges forward. Can he now find a finish? Fantastic from Neymar. Oh, this is a real show of character. Rather than let their heads drop, they've stood proud and fought hard. Brilliant. Neymar showed real composure then. I mean, how often do you see a player do everything right until he gets into the box, only to completely kind of fluff the finish? Not him. It's become a real seesaw game, this. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me, they've got to chase a winner. Neymar gives away a free kick. Benzema. Benzema, well saved by the keeper. Oh, he's done ever so well there. That's a wonderful, wonderful save. The clock counting down. Here's Neymar. Tony Cruz. Off he goes. What a wonderful goal. And right at the death. This surely has to be the winner. And talking about rising to the occasion, their supporters have gone absolutely delirious here. And the way this game was shaping, it needed one of the big names just to deliver something, anything. And the timing couldn't be better. That really tested the strength of the net. Oh, the contact was fantastic. Right on the bootlaces and it packed a lot of venom for what was a really potent strike. This game has already had its share of late drama. I wonder, could there be more to cut? That's it. After much consultation with his stopwatch, the referee has blown for time. You just have to sit back and admire their resilience. They kept cool and did ever so well to keep their composure, particularly after going behind. Listen, I've experienced the highs and the lows of derby clashes, and I can tell you that when you win one, it's uh, pretty special. There's so much at stake. It's, it's almost a relief to get it over, and... Uh, I certainly can identify with the euphoria we're watching now. I think they deserved it. All that remains is for me to thank my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, as our live coverage comes to a close this evening.